item before us is D7, short title five and five. It can be found on page nine of your agenda. Uh, and we have set a debate time of 10 minutes for this item. Uh, first uh, is one of the makers of the original motion we wishing to speak to it. Uh, are you one of the makers? Yeah. Okay, then I will recognize you up at the podium. Can you please give your uh, badge to the secretary? I know, I gave it to me. Carl-Johan uh, Norén, han, fru ordförande, mötesdeltagare. This amendment is to help the ward come. We want to keep the limits on the membership down in the things they need to write to make an informed vote in the categories they do vote on. We want to reduce the strain on things like the yoga ceremony and for the yoga reception committee and the yoga loses party. These are all things in time and in resources in economy. So we want to reduce and the six proposal was sort of an attempt to emulate the old system of keeping the number of the old system, non-EPH non system, sort of emulate the old ones, but still keeping. Sorry, I phrased that badly. We wanted to keep, have our cake and eat it too, but the, we should trust in the e pluribus yoga, and it's a better voting system. So I move that we pass this amendment. Thank you. Thank you. That was a speech in favor. Um, uh, first, the chair would like to remind everyone, including those of us at the head table, to make sure to silence uh, any noise-making devices that you have. Um, I, I need you to sit down before I can recognize you, uh, unless you're making a point of order, which you indicated you were not. Uh, that was a speech in favor. Is there anyone wishing to speak against? An amendment is a speech against. So I'm, because, as I mentioned before, some people are new here, and the process can be a little wonky. I'm going to recognize you up at the podium microphone. So, uh, Mr. Chairperson, I move to amend the motion. Uh, sorry, Rafe Richards, he, him pronouns. As chairperson, I move to amend the motion according to the uh, notes submitted to the head table yesterday. The motion or the amendment is that this motion should not subtract or delete the word six from section 3.8.1. The motion should not add the word five to 3.8.1. Second. Second. Okay. So the amendment, um, as I understand it, is to, uh, so in the text of D7, to strike the word five and insert the word six. Is that correct? Um, not quite correct. I am proposing to not, I'm proposing to amend the motion such that the motion does not make the amendments that it is proposing in that respect. So... Okay, I'm going to call the meeting to order, and we are going to take a brief standing pause while I consult with my head table. Because it will result in deleting the sunset strike. Wait, that stays stricken, right? Yeah, that stays stricken. Okay, but the five turns into six. Yes. That's what I said. Uh, well, I, I the way you put it confused me. 
Okay. Right well, I think you, the six would stand, the five would not go in, but the provision would go away. Yeah. The five would not stand? Yeah. The five would not go So, 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 so stay there, and the five will not be added. Okay, great. Yeah. Oh, to be honest, I think that can probably be picked by next picking and flying back in. Okay, okay. Okay, the meeting will come back to order. Okay, I knew what I meant, but apparently I didn't say it clearly enough. Okay, so the motion, the amendment, um, will. So what D7 does is it strikes six and inserts five and then strikes um, the, the, the provisions and the sunset clause at the end. What the amendment does is it doesn't change six into five, it keeps it as six, but it is still striking all of the provisions. May I ask the, uh, a, a brief uh, moment from the chair? It has been pointed out to me that for consistency, the words except as provided below should also be struck, uh, since what would be referred to in the provided below is being deleted. What, what is no, it? Oh, it refers no, no, no. to the sunset clause. No, 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 no. Uh, I am being told that the except as provided below refers to subsequent bits of the Constitution. Uh, in, in which case, uh, please ignore okay. that. I, I've been misadvised. My apologies. Okay. Um, so, do you agree with how I explained your amendment? Yes. Does the body understand how I explained the amendment? Okay, so what the amendment is doing is D7, the original motion, changes six into five and then also strikes the provisions that are the sunset clause. What the amendment does is keeps six, six does not turn into five, it stays six, and this feels like math class, uh, and keeps, the, the, the provisions that have been stricken stay stricken. So it, the sunset clause is removed and six stays and five does not make an appearance. Who stores the original provision? No, it doesn't. It does in the Constitution. The Constitution says six. Right, but the provision is I'm going to ask the meeting to come to order. Uh, to what purposes does the member rise? Yes. Yes. That is a great idea. Okay, so after this amendment, it, the, the proposed amendment will cause. I'm going to go ahead and read it, Linda. It will cause 3.8.1 to read, except as provided below. Yeah. The proposed amendment will cause 3.8.1 to read, except as provided below, the final award ballots shall list in each category the six eligible nominees receiving the most nominations as determined by the process described in section 3.9, period, end moves to next thing. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. I believe there was a second to the amendment. Second, second, second. But thanks for verifying because that was a while ago. Okay. Uh, do you wish to speak to your amendment? I do. Okay. Debate time for amendments is set automatically to five minutes. Uh, I believe five and six is a great thing. I agree with the proposers of the original motion on one thing and that is we have enough evidence to judge it that the sunset provisions are no longer required. Where I disagree is I believe it is wonderful. I'm going to attempt to touch on a lot of points very quickly. It was established as part of bulwark against hostile actors. It has been said these hostile actors have gone away. They have not. If you have built a castle to ward off barbarians and the barbarians have been scared away by the castle, you do not start dismantling the castle to the point to find out when they attack again. Secondly, it has been said it imposes a financial burden upon Worldcom. We have seen the financial reports. The Worldcoms working under five and six have shown a reasonable surplus. And I think we can all agree that if a Worldcom is going to spend money on something, the Hugo Awards is a pretty good thing to spend it on. But lastly, and this is my main point, every year when the final ballots come out, 
I, all of us, are introduced to new and wonderful authors, artists, and pieces of work. Five and six increases the amount of awesome to which we are exposed by 20%. Across the number of Worldcon's members, that is an awful lot of awesome being increased by 20%. So what I say is, let us have that awesome. Let us keep five and six and take this chance to embrace it. Throw out the sunset clauses, keep it, let that awesomeness reign by giving us more works to read, more works to enjoy, more new things in which to delight. And thank you. Thank you, that was a speech in favor. Is there a speech against the amendment? Uh, I'm going to recognize the woman in the maroon shirt in the back, up at the podium microphone. Thank you. Hello, I'm Catherine Duval, uh, she and her, and I'm one of the original sponsors of this. And I feel that the amendment completely um, obliterates, to me, the whole point of why I sponsored this. Because the point was that we had learned a lot about how the process worked, and we felt that five was a good number that we could go to because it worked before, and, and also it is a burden on all of us who really spend a lot of time to read everything that's out there. And I don't know how you vote, but when I go and vote for the Hugos, I really look through everything, and six is a big number. And it's great to hear about six new things. I agree with that, that's wonderful. But, you know, I'm also out there nominating and reading all the things to nominate to begin with, and it's a lot of work. And, you know, you can, you can go the other way, but to me, it completely reverses the whole point of why I sponsored this thing. And to me, that just means it should be a completely new motion, because it doesn't reflect the original intent of those who sponsored this. Thank you. Thank you. That was, <coughs> excuse me, that was a speech against. Is there a speech in favor of the amendment? I'm going to recognize Lisa up at the podium. Lisa Hayes, she, her. I was originally in favor of the four and six, which this is derived from. I think this is a bulwark we need badly. The fact that he said before, since nothing's happened, it doesn't hurt to have it. And I want to address the previous issue that you have to or are compelled to submit six. This is allowing us to submit six in case we find six. There are many a year where I make one single nomination because that's what I read and I'm permitted to do that under the current rules. There's nothing compelling me to do more. But I think this is incredibly important to maintain this one bulwark and it's not that much work on top of everything else. And if it is, then give the administrator some money to do it. <laughs> okay, that was a speech in favor of the amendment and we are now out of time in favor. Are we doing on again? Is there anyone wishing to speak against the amendment? Um, I'm going to recognize the gentleman in the back, up at the front, up at the podium microphone. Hi, Chris Duval, pronouns he, him. Uh, regardless of how you feel on the five, six issue, I'd like to suggest that even though a, an amendment that fundamentally reverses the original intent of a um, proposal, it may be procedurally okay. There's a matter of substantive justice out there, and I would ask that those who support six maybe think about the substantive justice. Thanks. That is a speech against. Uh, we are out of time for speeches. What information yeah. uh, are you making a parliamentary inquiry? Because the point of information isn't it? Okay. Um, 
Like, can you please, sorry. Okay, um, Elspeth Kovar. This is probably, as with yesterday, something that's answered in the text, but I want to make sure that I understand. Um, so originally the motion was, or the amendment, was we change it to five years and leave it at that. The amendment is that we keep it at six years. Six and Six nominees, not years. Originally, it was we go to five, don't wait for a sunset. The amendment is that we stay at six and no sunset. Is that correct? That is correct. Just wanted to check. Okay. Uh, is there additional? Is there an additional speech against the amendment? Okay, uh, please move to a microphone and state your parliamentary inquiry. <laughs> Winton Matthews, I, uh, he, him, I don't know if this is a bait or not, but if this passes, what do we do with B4? That, uh, I will take that as a parliamentary inquiry. Uh, B4 is uh, postponed definitely to be taken up after this. Um, and so we'll take it up after this. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The, this is a constitutional amendment and would not take effect because of ratification. And so the current constitution still has the bit about passing a resolution and so we can still do that. Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, we are now, uh, parliamentary inquiries while they have precedence and so we get to make them even when we are out of debate time still do come out of debate time. And so we are now out of time for debate. Uh, and so we are going to move to a vote on the amendment. Um, those in favor of the amendment, um, I'm going to read what the amended version of 3.8.1 will sound like again so that the body is clear. So the amendment would make 3.8.1 read, except as provided below, the final award ballots shall list in each category the six eligible nominees receiving the most nominations as determined by the process described in section 3.9. All those in favor of the amendment, please raise the hand. Thank you. Those against? The amendment passes. Okay, uh, we are now, uh, so the amendment is passed, so we are now back to D7, which I'm not going to refer to by its short title anymore. Uh, the last speech we had was um, a speech against, as it was the amendment. Is there a speech in favor of the now amended D7? Can I move to call the question? Uh, We've had speech in favor and against. There's been debate, so yes, you can call the question. Okay, the question has been called and seconded. Uh, is there anyone still wishing to speak to D7? Okay, uh, we will now move to a vote on calling the question. This requires a two-thirds vote. Those in favor of calling the question, please raise the hand. Thank you. Those against? Uh, and the question has been called and we will move to a vote on D7. Those in favor of the amended version of D set of D Chairman, could you please reread now the full the it's the the full amendment is the exact same thing that I just read. Do you wish me to read it again? No. Okay. Uh, I will I will read the text again. Uh, the motion before us is D seven, which will amend three point eight point one to read in its entirety. Except as provided below, the final award ballots shall list in each category the six eligible nominees receiving the most nominations as determined by the process described in section 3.9. Uh, those in favor of, of D.7, please raise the hand. Thank you. And those against? 
and the motion passes. I'm going to instruct the secretary as before that in the minutes we probably want to change the short title to have it make sense. Okay, um, so we have, uh, will the body please come to order? Thank you. I really, really, really don't want to be here tomorrow. So we're going to try and do as much as we can and keeping the body in order helps with doing that. Uh, yesterday, not yesterday, Thursday, Friday, whenever our first meeting was, the preliminary business meeting, we postponed uh, B4, suspend five and six for 2020 to take up after D7. Uh, it is 12.03, so I would like to get a sense of the will of the body. Would you like to take a 10-minute break now or after taking up B4? After. Okay. So B4 is now before us. Short title, Suspend 5 and 6 for 2020. It is on page 4 of your agenda. And we have set debate time on this motion for six minutes. Uh, does one of the uh, original makers of the motion wish to speak f to it? See none. Is there anyone else wishing to make a speech in favor? Uh, I'll recognize Lisa up at the front. Lisa Paddles, she, her. Particularly if we are considering keeping five and six, I really want to know what happens if we suspend it for a year. I've heard we don't want to be inconsistent. This is not about inconsistency. This is experimentation. I want the data. Okay, that was a speech in favor. Is there a speech against? Recognize you up at the podium. Uh, Rafe Richards, he, him. Uh, I'm going to be honest, we've pretty much just had this debate. Uh, so, yes, that is pretty much the summary of my speech against this. D7, as amended, has passed. I believe this business meeting wants to see five and six carried on. Thank you. That was a speech against. Is there... Okay. One moment. Um, so, unless you are rising for a privilege motion like a point of order or a parliamentary inquiry, uh, you still have the same precedence as all other debate, and so you still need to rise during the debate section of my question. So, uh, that was a speech against before. Is there a speech in favor? Um, I will recognize Mr. Pomeranz at the mic. I'm still going to make you do it at the microphone. <laughs> John Pomeranz, I use the pronouns he, him. Call the question. Second. Okay. The question has been called and seconded. Is there anyone still wishing to speak to B4? Okay. Uh, so we will now move to a vote on calling the previous question. Parliamentary Yes. Just to be clear, a yes vote on this is to uh, go to five nominees, and a no vote is to go to six. No. Well, right now we are voting on calling the question, so oh, the vote is just on whether or not we're going to vote immediately next or keep talking. Uh, okay, the question has been called, and we are going to vote on it. This requires a two-thirds vote. Those in favor of calling the question, please raise the hand. Thank you. Those against? Okay, and the motion passes. Uh, we are now going to move to a vote on B4. Uh, so to be clear, uh, B4 suspends five and six uh, for 2020 because what we just did in D7 still has to be ratified next year and so is not in our constitution yet. And so what is in currently in our constitution is five and six with the provision that we can uh, suspend it for a year by a resolution of the body. Uh, so, a motion, so a vote in favor of B4 will suspend 5 and 6 for 2020, going back to 5 and 5. A vote against B4 
will not do that and keep us at five and six. Is that clear? Okay. All those in favor of B4, please raise the hand. Thank you. All those against? And the motion fails. And uh, we are now going to take a 10-minute recess. It is 12.07. We will resume at 12.17.